One of my key theories of desire mapping is that we have the procedures of achievement upside down. So typically we come up with our to-do lists and our bucket lists and our strategic plans. It's all the stuff we want to do and have and get and want and accomplish and experience that's outside of ourselves. All of those aspirations are being driven by an innate desire to feel a certain way. So what if we got clear on how we actually wanted to feel in ourselves and then we designed our to-do lists and set our goals and wrote out our bucket lists. If you need a bucket list, you know, how do you want to feel? How do you want to feel when you look at your schedule for the week, when you get dressed in the morning, when you walk through the door of your workspace? How do you want to feel when you pray? How do you want to feel when you go to sleep tonight? When you commit to someone? How do you want to feel when conflict arises? You get to choose. How do you want to feel when someone disagrees with you? When someone wants to give you their love and attention, how do you want to feel? How do you want to feel in your body when you're alone, just being still? When you behold yourself in the mirror, how do you want to feel? Knowing how you actually want to feel is one of the most potent forms of clarity that you can have. And generating those feelings is how you intentionally create your life.